Um, so uh, this is the mystery. Um, what's happening? Just immediately, inescapably, this. Um, and it's, uh, um, I, and I'm not talking about an idea of a meeting or, um, or uh, you know, that's what this is called. It's called a meeting, and it's supposedly about a subject called non-duality, um, and. That sort of kind of makes it that then this sort of noble and kind of understandable. Well, it's a meeting, and that's what's happening. But um, uh, what's been suggested here is that this what's happening is a total mystery, a complete, completely and utterly unknowable. That that talking is appearing to happen, that's unknowable, that um, questions might be asked, that um, responses, that every kind of tiny inch of this apparent happening is utterly and totally, completely um, unknowable and a mystery. And um, it would also seem that as this mystery in this unknowability, it appears like that, OK, well, this is known and this is known as a world and this is known as a meeting and this is known as a meeting about non-duality. And I know I know this and I know what this is and I know what's happening. And somehow through the knowing of the world as a world and through knowing it, it somehow um, can, um, through that knowing, there can be a kind of a staleness. Knowing can actually become almost a prison and a sort of a seeking for something outside of that which is known. And so in other words, seeking, seek some, seeking, seek something other than the usual knowings and, um, yet at the same time um, is almost repelled by that which it can't know. And the world, normal, the normal world and normal meetings, um, there's normally, well, there's a purpose to them and something is being explained and described or imparted or shared and um, and the speaker knows something that he wants to put across or she wants to put across and share. Um, in actual fact, it is the talking that is the mystery. And um, and this is a sharing um, for its own sake, which isn't a sake even, which isn't a purpose. It's just you could say that this um, is appearing to happen, a sharing like this. And um, and really at the core of what's being described here is that there's not you and life, there's just life and, um, and that that won't be known. Um, and so then it's kind of a delving into the mystery um, swimming in words all the while saying that not one single word will hold or bind this um and that uh yeah let's have a go though let's let's um see what happens um uh let's see what happens yeah if there's something there that's there that's there to be asked then it's there to be asked anything at all um uh, and it, you know, you just unmute yourself and go for it. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Hello, Fran. Hi, yeah. Oh, mate, I just listen to what you're saying there. It's, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm hypnotised. It seems to me like I'm hypnotised to a story that, of my life. It's like hypnotism. And I'm missing the point that, you know, what something you just said uh, a while back. That, uh, the, miss, the, miss, the, the miracle is just this. I'm sort of hypnotised into this kind of story of life. B 
being hypnotized is a story as well, though. Yeah, sure. It's not like, oh, suddenly the, the wood is seen from the trees and all is clear. In actual fact, it's the end of all those ideas about how this could be, should be, that it should be better, it should be different, should be more whatever. It, all of those collapse. And then there's just how it appears to be being. But that also includes any kind of ideas of, of that. And like there is um, words, there's only the sound of a voice, there's only the words. And in a way, these are words just, it doesn't matter what's being said at all. Really, um, it's, it's just the sound of a voice. So there's nothing being missed at all is the idea perhaps that something has been missed or not seen clearly that can fall away it's just this but it's not then known as oh it's just this nothing is known but words like that seem to come out oh it's this like com can come out of the mouth but it doesn't make it doesn't make any it's not like the brakes are suddenly held on this and somebody has this and they can go oh it's this <laughs> it's just something like that appears to be said and the mystery then really is also that question it is as everything hmm. well, i can't deny I find, it, I find it undeniable that there is anything but this whatever this is and there never has been anything but this It's impossible to escape this. Hmm. But it's impossible to escape the saying and that feeling of that it's impossible to escape this. In other words, that's just what is. That's nothing yeah. appearing as wondering and curiosity or whatever. Yeah. So it that's appears it. like a question has been asked and then uh, um, at a meeting... <laughs> And all there is is just a response like this back. Yeah. Because if there was any different, anything as being said, then something would be known, making this all explainable. So this is totally and utterly mm. unknowable. Mm. But unknowable also is unknowable. The sound of the voice, the hearing, wondering, every tiny inch, you know, is just a happening. But it's not... You know, it's not like then it's confined to anything. They're just words. Mm. Mm. So this thinking, what's that? I was going to say this thinking, um, analytic um, mind is all, obviously also is just the, what is happening. Yeah, obviously, you know, I, I can see the, ob the obviousness of that. And also the arising, I can see the obviousness of that. Yeah, yeah, it's just happening. It's just happening. Every, it's impossible to escape what is happening. Mm. Mm. It seems so painful. Now, seeming so painful also is just what's happening. Well, maybe it's just painful. It's painful then. Maybe it's fully painful then. Mm. Or fully frustrating or fully whatever. Mm. And in a way, it is, it's an oddity to say there's just what is or what's appearing to happen because then it seems like, well, full-on grief mm. or full-on sorrow is apart or you know whereas there, perhaps there's just full-on what is or what is appearing which can be grief but everything anything mm. every possibility everything 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 mm. Mm. thank you thank you thank you I think the dream can be that um, 
the dream or imagined goal can be that when the self drops away, all will be revealed and um, there'll be no more pain. Uh, but what's been suggested here is that already there is no one. So there's no self required for pain or anything else. So no one sees that there's no self. And then you could say everything is as mystery. But that doesn't make it, um, it doesn't make pain suddenly um, glossy and sugary and a mystery. Maybe it'll be just pain. Go for John. You don't need to be polite. Just jump on in. I'm seeing your hand up there, John. I'm wondering if you wanted to ask a question. Thanks, Frank, for the minute there. Right. So, as you started off there, that like about um, knowing being a prison uh, and all of that. Mm. So knowing has uh, having become a kind of a prison or stale for some time uh, quite some time and the accumulation of knowledge about um, non-duality and all of the teachings that go with it that you know in a sense got nowhere <clears throat> so having kind of somewhat realized that that um, self can't get out of self that Paul Hederman talks about um quite well i kind of get that as a kind of an understanding understanding level and at the same time while there's almost a constant preoccupation at a thinking level about the message this general message of non-duality yeah um so it takes me into when i think about unknowing um, mm. I can think about thoughts, I can think about work, I can think about knowing this, that, and the other thing, blah, blah, blah. But when I think about knowing, it feels like, whoo, there's something there. It's like a window. There's a window there into something that's not scary, not kind of, um, um, that I can't conceptualize it maybe, or I can't kind of, um, but it's a window into something. Um, so I'm just wondering what I had written down here was, could you say something about that? But um, at the same time, then when I was <laughs> thinking about that, I thought that's still a thought, you know, that's still a thought. Um, so if there's nothing to know, um, how does one fall into that knowingness um, without having the desire to do so? It's worse than there's nothing to know. There's no one in there that can know, but already there's no one in there. You just said that I'd like to fall into that unknowingness. Yeah. Without that understanding. Um, so it's like at one level, I kind of open to that, but I'm not bothered about the end. I'm shit sick of understanding stuff. So it's like I'm going to fall into unknowingness, but it's like, whew, how do I even do that? Because I know that, that at another level is desire. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with anything, desires or anything else. But um, there's just nobody in there that can fall. So what can fall perhaps away is the image of anything falling into anything else. This is already. <laughs> so it's already this which means nobody's in there seeking and then nobody's going to find this it's just seeking and then there's there's the recognition perhaps that all the knowledge and the words don't hold this or or don't taste that good anymore for, for perhaps but um the words never ever uh taste good they're just words so nothing can be said at all ever and this all this is a suggestion that there's nobody in there seeking or wondering or asking that question 
and 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 there's nobody in there wondering about diving into unknowing and what and letting go into unknowing or whatever else so there isn't a thing called unknowing there isn't anywhere this is the end of the universe this is the for never after this is whatever you want to call it won't make it bound and it's not this is timeless this is this already like is locationless. That doesn't still give me a get out get out of jail card. Yeah. It's just that you can't get out of jail. But the frustration is intense, Frank. Yeah, yeah. I won't minimize it. The frustration is intense. It's like I'm 25 years at this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you never did a thing. I really, um, it's waiting for something to happen. That's uh, that's really what you could say is the movement of the seeker, waiting for something to happen so that I will know it for myself. But I tried to stop that as well. Yeah. But you're, you're not doing that either, like. Like, you can't stop seeking or start seeking. You can't give this up or not give it up. You can't do a fucking thing, including the feeling, oh, I can now. I can. Okay. But you can't do anything about that, though. <laughs> so so then you tell me, Frank, it's everything. Don't fucking tell me it's, it's immediately this. Inescapably, the thoughts that are going on the feelings, the wondering, and the frustration. It is, it is the frustration. Just frustration. There's no John in there. Sadly now. That can fall away. I keep getting the same answers no matter who I ask these questions. <laughs> <laughs> same answer every day. Yeah, it, you see, um, the, 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 the really, though, it's, it's lost in the image that there is an answer, really. That's that's what that's what appears to be that there's an answer that will satisfy this or, you know, and all that's been re replied back is there's just what's appearing or there's just what is, however that is, and that there is no one. And it's a suggestion won't make your life better. It won't suddenly then make everything serene. <laughs> There's no one in there for whom it will be serene. And there's no one in there seeking, no one in there asking a question. It's this like. And that's not a known thing then. You see, in a way it can be lost in the image as well that somebody must know. Well, well Frank is holding a meeting here. Frank has got this thing. And Frank just keeps saying, no, no, he hasn't got anything. Frank doesn't even know what a shitty piece of dirt is.
And that's why it's already the case. It's just all these images. And then the last image is, is either lost in the idea of liberation and a, a dropping away of self, or worse even, nothing. I want to know that this is nothing happening. I want to know it for myself. I don't know that this is nothing happening. These are just words that are appearing to be used. And you see, we're so used to the whole thing being done. Every single interaction is comes from somebody who knows to somebody who doesn't know. And in this instance, you know about self-liberation, um, a self that can drop away, falling into unknowing, and he, there's nothing at all known here. And in a way, all those knowings, all those knowings want you, you in a way you could say that there's a wanting to drop all those knowings, but it's, it's also recognizing that there's a bit of hope, even in nothing. Even in nothing that, oh, and that's where all it is, is just seeking. It's a sort of a seeking energy, a dis-ease that's just appearing to happen. And that you, there's no John in there doing that. It's just that. And then all the words collapse and everything, you know, not a word has to mean anything. So then... It's just this, we're just talking about the hearing of a voice, not what is being said. And without the stories of becoming and falling into unknowing and acquiring and everything and anything that this could be, should be or would be. Thanks, Frank. All right, thank you. Um, some uh, message in here. Hi, Frank, there's just what is you say and nobody in there. This doesn't sound like a happy message to me. Not sure why I listen to this kind of regards. You're not listening to this. And you can't hear this. And that's why it's so, so beyond all the words, so beyond all of the everything that's been said here it's not intellectual it's not conceptual and it will never meet then you never suddenly there's never suddenly a meeting or agreeing say when all of this collapses all the stories about this it won't then suddenly there won't be something to agree upon disagreeing would be the same would be the same then it'll be just what's happening and um and that's why you could say the resonance is um is a better way to describe because um it's really and truly nothing to do with the words at all and yeah somehow then appearing that something like this appears to happen and it is neither it's not even a message which is worse and it's um but there's really there isn't anything any kind of hope offered or whatever. There'd have to be somebody in there who knew. So um yeah. I don't know if you wanted to ask anything else on that. <laughs> Go for it. My dog is hearing that talk. <laughs> <laughs> the dog saying this is it.
Oh, yeah. Just wondering how many times we want to hear there's only this. If we heard it last week and the week before, mm. could we walk away and um, see how it settles? Well, you see, if it was about hearing and so a message, right? If it was about that, then um, somebody could take that on and walk around going, well, there's only this, there's only what is, there's only what's appearing to happen. And it'd be something useful or conceptual that they can take on board and um, live a better life with. But most every concept or mantra to try and how to live a life fall apart. And then there's nothing at all even being described here. So it's not, not really even saying there's just what's appearing to happen. In actual fact, it's, it's kind of using words to, to describe the utter uselessness of words and recognizing that at the same time by saying this is nothing appearing to happen. For the story maker, that's not anything at all and frustrating to sit in total silence that's objectified then as a more peaceful way of being. And so then saying this, there is what is, what is also includes being really fucked off with hearing, there's just what is, being absolutely sick to the death of this stupid message, almost trying to unhear it, you could say. If you were in there, you could hear, but it's unhear and hear, but you can't. You can't do a thing. And that's all that's been in a way described here is this, this is the mystery. That, that, uh, this, but it's not a this. The mystery also includes being fucked off. It's everything and anything. And that's why, you know, that's why words like resonance are quite um, interesting because um, there's just nothing useful here. Uh, resonance sounds mysterious to me. Um... It does sound a bit too... Um, it's, you see, every single word is objectified. Resonance then is kind of like, oh, a stylish, sexy word to use about the frustration of seeking resonance. But I suppose really it also includes, you know, the intellectual trying to get this is so dissatisfied and so fucked off and can't believe that they come to the, one of these stupid meetings again. And all then that's been said is that you're not coming to the meeting. There isn't a meeting. There's just what's appearing to happen. There's just what is, including every thought, every feeling, every but, every sensation, every, what do you mean now? Everything. Don't tell me I'm not seeking here, Frank. Yeah, we, we hear the words, um, we uh, see the silence, but where's this resonance you talk about? <laughs> I think, I, I suppose all I'm saying about resonance is that um, to the message that was sent through saying, not sure why I listen to this, it's, um, it's, an, it's saying in a way that you, well, you're not listening to this, <laughs> you know, there's, the, you're not, there's no way you'd be interested in this. This is total shit luck for that which is used to acquiring because nothing is being prescribed or described or there's nothing useful, there's nothing helpful, there's nothing to make to make this all shiny and pink and glistening with, you know, boundless wholeness or whatever image that might be um, held about this, you know. So you could say that's what the resonance is, but res it's not your resonance. You won't have it either. So is there resonance now, right now? It, this is the resonance, you could say, yeah. You could say this is everything, you could say everything is resonance, but you know, it, when it's so evidently, perhaps frustrating and nauseating, and still somehow coming up to the, uh, appearing to these meetings, and. It's because nothing is on offer. It's repellent and also sort of something beyond the words that there's a coming back to it. Something beyond that mind that won't stop and find this then. 
it, it's just all of the that bullshit images sought about what this could be can collapse that seeking can stop but it won't be you you are the seeking and so seeking doesn't find it's just seeking and you can't do it or not do it and so this that's this resonance you could say or but it's not your resonance or anyone's resonance it's not a having which is then no good for that which likes to acquire but that's what you could say resonance about resonance it's like a kind of magnetism isn't it uh turning up but, but it won't be held on to then either it's you know it's because it's so nothing to do with the intellectual bullshit going on it's nothing to do with the words and that doesn't make it then other or hidden or it's it's just that it kind of in a way describes the inexplicableness of anything at all and for then for why on earth would anybody inter be interested in um non-duality really but there is no one and then as this sort of communication appears to happen and it's no one's communication and nothing is being communicated and that's not being vague or trying to disguise something it's just using the word nothing nothing at all and this that then the seeking just wants to get that it's nothing but really, it's presented with nothing constantly, 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 constantly. And this is that nothing on offer. And when this meeting ends, it's also nothing. It's not like the, you need to come to a meeting. There's nothing needs to be heard or read. There's no path to this. There's no acquiring this. It's already... I missed nothing this morning then. I couldn't turn up this morning, but uh, I gather I missed nothing. <laughs> you didn't even miss nothing. Nothing isn't a thing. Nothing happened. This is nothing happening, appearing like a sound. And also fully as trying to get that, also tr fully trying to understand that. So there can't be that and something else. There's just that. All right, thanks. Thank you. Nothing is being missed.
Hey, Frank. Hey. Hey. Um, so it's, so it, I hate to use the word, any word really like immediacy, but it seems like in this immediacy, there's no room for you or I or anything. And then, and then there might be like, then it seems like a dreaming uh, of like you and I and everything. And that's just what seems to be, it's just like, it, it seems like it's a going in and out of, you know, from, from no one to someone. I don't even know. I, you know, this started up, but I can't even find a question. Mm. Yeah. It can be like that. Yeah. Just no question. It's just kind of, um, see, um, there isn't, uh, a question that suddenly will kind of unlock anything. It's whatever was said there, no one said that. And that's then not knowable. So any description appearing is just that. Any insight or idea doesn't need to be held on to. Um, and of course can be held on to. But an insight is as interesting as the dog barking because it doesn't get closer or further away from what what is. And um, just seems like everything in the world is used to, you know being it's able to be able to understand it and this is nothing to do with understanding and yet also we're talking about so what the what the fuck can be said well whatever appears to be then being said it's not like this you know there's a once removedness from this that can describe it as this it's a description appearing and then, so then nothing really is being said at all then. <clears throat> so Frank, your response there to George now. Right. I didn't really listen to the words, but the words pointed to something. Right. That meant nothing, but sensed something. Right. Hmm. I said that in relation to the resonance bit that Garrett was on about earlier. I suppose it's not, it isn't a having this resonance because um, it's just a word you could say for when, you know, it's kind of interesting. I suppose I just remember, it's just so nothing to do with the words. And so resonance is as good as any, but it also can be, well, I'm not going to another one of these stupid fucking meetings to just rubbish. I, I, I know, I know, I know, blah, blah, blah. It's just all of that. And yet somehow, <laughs> oh, yeah, appearing at another meeting. And it's in a way that's it's beautiful reflection how this is nothing, but nothing ever had anything to do with you. Nothing ever. There's just this happening then. And then seeing it, there's just this happening won't make it then noble as that. They're just then words appearing, just sounds then. When the meaning drops out of everything, that is, you could say.
I can't wait to get an escape from all of this for eight hours tonight. <laughs> Um, so this being nothing happening, happening is everything it can appear like cruelty, grief, joy, whatever it appears like everything. Yeah. Or whatever is being felt and described. So then it's not a state. It's just, there's no one in there. It's not a fixed, there isn't a fixed thing that can have joy or not have joy. See, it's so not conceptual. It's so not um, useful at all. There's so nothing at all to take away from this. It's, it's um, going around saying, oh, well, there's just what's appearing to happen. Okay, well, you might get a, an hour about that. <laughs> um, so nothing at all, no explanation, no um, anything at all. And in a way, you could say that's that is this the inexplicable, no no knowings, no anything that will make this safe or anchored in some sort of foundation, anchored in some sort of. Well, at least this part is true. This part, Frank, isn't it? This part is true. No. And it won't then be an authority that will say anoint or anything because actually nothing is known. So then what will what authority would come along and say, well, um, yeah, yeah, you've got this when this is about nothing with no explanation whatsoever about this, then it's free to be exactly how it appears to be being, including shit. Including the dog shit. 
<laughs> for better and worse everything 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 with no explanation no no explanation whatsoever So then saying this is just what is doesn't explain anything. And you could say that is what is craved and also repellent, you could say, but it doesn't make a difference either. And there's no getting closer or further away, nearly having it, not having it. And you don't have to do it right or you're not doing it wrong. You're simply not doing it. There's just that. All right. Um, have a lovely evening and um, or morning or whatever, afternoon. And um, see you later. Thank you, Frank. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Bye. Bye.